right guys, New York Saddle Hunter coming at you. Hey, if you like what we're putting out there, remember, please hit the like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, and that'll keep you tuned in to all the new stuff that Joe and I are bringing you every week. Uh, we really appreciate the, all the support we get from you guys, and uh, we enjoy making these videos for you. So uh, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you. All right, guys, uh, a couple weeks back, um, we had a viewer, he was talking about uh, pulling his rope through a tight crotch, and he said, I, I, I couldn't get the rope to come through the crotch. Um, it was the tree I wanted to hunt, and I was having a hard time, and no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get it to come through. Um, so I kind of, in, in a text, I told him how to do it, um, which, you know, sometimes uh, I can't get my point across in a text, so, you know, picture's always worth a thousand words, right? So I'm gonna make a video for you guys to show you exactly what to do when you get into that situation. All right, uh, so first thing up, um, hopefully you're not trying to pull, in a tight crotch situation, you're not trying to pull your throw ball or your clip through because, uh, you know, that's just, that's a lot more bulk trying to go through that tight crotch. So let's eliminate these two problems right off the bat. First of all, let's take this right off. I also want to show you guys too, if you're not doing this, um, I kind of made a video about it a little while back. What I like to do, it's just easier on and off. If you tie a loop in, your, in the end of your uh, throw line, all you do is feed that loop through the eye and around the, the ball, okay? Pull tight, all right? That's your connection. Right? It's just easy on, easy off. You're not fumbling around with any knots. Okay, keep that in your pocket so you don't lose it. All right, so what I want to do to remedy the problem of tight crotches, we're going to take that loop, and what we're going to do is we're going to girth hitch our rope about a foot down or so, whatever, 10 inches. Just Get it in there good and tight, and then kind of throw another half in it, or two or three, doesn't matter. You know, the more the better. This way you don't pull it out when you're coming through that tight crotch. All righty, okay. So let's pull this up and get it jammed, and I'll show you how to free it. See, rope's going up the tree. All right, we'll pull it right on up. When we hit that point, boom, right crotch. All right, see, over here. All right, you can't get it through that tight crotch. And we don't, if you, if you notice you're in a tight crotch, don't really force it because you really don't want to lock it in to that crotch because it's just going to be harder to get out. All right. But one of the things you want to do is you want to take this line, okay? Hopefully you have a tree within 10, 15, 20 feet of you, all right? And like I said, you don't want to pull out all the slack. You just want to make it tight enough so that when you're, when you go back over to the business end of the rope, the reason I do this for is you got to keep some tension on this because if you were, if you did not tie this off, when you go to grab on your rope, all right, the weight of the rope is just going to pull this light line right back down again, all right? So this is what keeps it in that tight crotch, all right? So we'll go to the other end, and I'll show you how to get it out. All right, guys. Now we're over here. the rope is stuck up in that crotch. Now the way to get it through, what I was kind of telling you in, in, in a text, was you want to do what I call, it, it's almost like making a wave, like you're, like you're rolling a wave up to that crotch. And that wave motion, the momentum of it, is going to push that rope right through the crotch. So you get it right to the other side. So what you want to do is just, just make a loop, take a bite of rope, all right, make yourself a loop. And with this loop, you're going to make a wave with your arm, 
is, you know, fast. You want to get a little momentum behind it. You want to roll this up that to that crotch as fast as possible, okay? Now, like I said, that momentum is going to take it right out of that crotch. All right, so here we go. And there you go. See the rope on the other side there, Joe? Should be three feet, four feet of it hanging down. Went right through the crotch. Yep, you can All see right. it. Yep. See it? Yep. I'll do it again. I'll pull it back. Okay. Now you can see why that the the, uh, the other end where I have the throw line tied in is so important. If that wasn't tied in, this would all come down to the bottom of the tree, and then I'd have to pull it back up again. Right. All right. So we're right at our sticking point, right where the rope is in the crotch where it's stuck. Okay. Take a bite of rope, just like this, and then roll it forward right up into the crotch for your line. There you go. Here it goes. Um, pull it back to one more time. I'm going to just, I want to just zoom in on, uh, on the crotch itself okay. this time. All right. Now she's tight in the crotch. Hold on. Let me just get focused on it so they can see, Stuck. see the effect. Hold on. You say when. Yep, go ahead, go okay. for it. Yep. I'm gonna roll it right up. Yep, went right up and go. over. Up and out. Yep. Hope that uh, solves your problems. Uh, like I said, you know, I got a lot of years experience getting rope stuck. So we come up with ways to, to unstuck them, unstick them. And, uh, you know, it's just, it gets frustrating. And I, I know, guys, it's, it's definitely the hardest part of this whole DRT technique. That's the hardest thing is just getting that throw ball in, getting your rope back down to you. But hopefully these little tips and tricks will help you out and you know, ease, ease your frustration along the way. Yeah, and it's always a, a, a one of the best bits of advice we can give you guys is try to do as much of this stuff in the post and preseason and yeah, set your preset loops. Now's the time to do it. Absolutely. You're not doing it when you're trying to hunt, getting frustrated, trying to get up into the tree. Yeah, that's no good. You get so frustrated, you're just going to go home. Or you're not going to do this method. You're just going to have screw it. I'm just going to use sticks. Yep. yep. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, once you get this down, Pat, uh, I'm telling you, that then it becomes enjoyable. You know, yeah. when you can walk into the woods, pick out your tree, throw your throw line up there, throw your throw ball through the crotch, back, you know. I mean, I, I think I showed you in one of my our other videos, I think it took me from walking into the tree, and by the time I was up in the tree and actually hunting, I think it was, what, seven, eight minutes, maybe, or something yeah. like that, you know. And that's with throwing the throw ball. And that's with throwing the throw so ball, if you, right. So if, if you eliminate that by doing your your preseason work by setting presets presets yeah you, you're, you're now you cut that in three half minutes you're exactly right off of that yep yeah yeah those presets are big man they're they're really i mean joe and i we put them in all over the place you know some of them we don't even hunt we just think oh yeah you know we one might day. get to this one day yep. and one day we might you know yep. but uh the, you, you can't you won't lose the more presets you put in the better yep. so i hope that trick works for you guys man i hope it helps you out it eases a little bit of your pain and uh, like I said, man, if you like what we're we're uh, we're putting out for you guys, please uh, hit that like, hit, you know, hit the like us, like us. Uh, you can also like us on Facebook as well too, where we can get a little bit more, uh, you know, we can, uh, we can converse a little easier with you than we can, of course, on YouTube. But uh, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon, guys, and uh, we'll keep bringing it to you. Yeah. All right, guys. Good luck, man. Thanks for tuning in.